Today's topic is about inflammation. What is it really an acute versus chronic inflammation? Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and there's lots of questions about this topic, mainly a lot of confusion about inflammation. Most people don't really know what it is and how it affects their body. Yes, inflammation is linked to most major health problems, and yes, inflammation gets worse as we age. In fact, there's a medical term for it called inflammaging. However, inflammation is needed and it's a positive thing or else your body just wouldn't function properly. In fact, inflammation happens in everyone, whether you're aware of it or not. Basically, your immune system creates inflammation to protect the body from infection, injury, or disease. And there are many things you wouldn't be able to heal from without inflammation. Simply stated, inflammation refers to your body's process to fight against things that harm it in an attempt to heal itself. Now, a little bit more technical, when something damages your cells, your body creates and releases chemicals that triggers a response from your immune system. This response includes the release of antibodies and proteins, as well as of an increase in blood flow to that damaged area. For example, you might get a cut on your body. You'll notice that soon after, the area swells up and it turns red. Your immune system is trying to heal that area and make sure you also don't get an infection. This is known as acute inflammation, and it's a good thing. Remember, we need it to survive, and it's part of that survival mechanisms and, and adaptation, and this process typically lasts a few hours, maybe a few days. In fact, inflammation is classified into two main types. There is acute inflammation, which I just gave the example of for that cut. It usually occurs for a short yet often severe duration. Again, you get a bad cut. And it often resolves itself in two weeks or less. Symptoms do appear quickly. And this basically, you know, acute inflammation restores your body to its state before the injury or illness. You get back to normal and you're good to go. The second is chronic inflammation. And this is slower and generally less severe form of inflammation. It's mild. It typically lasts longer than six weeks. It can occur even when there is no injury, and it doesn't always end when the illness or injury is healed. It can keep going. Chronic inflammation has been linked to many autoimmune disorders and basically prolonged stress. This second form of chronic inflammation, that's the real problem. That's the one I want you to be concerned about. This is why, in fact, it's called inflammaging because as we, we have more inflammation as we get older and we age because our bodies have a harder time to fight against it due to the lack of optimal hormones, stem cells, and so forth. This chronic inflammation is what negatively affects your body and brain inside and out. This is what accelerates aging and what causes pain. Chronic inflammation is linked to wrinkles and hair loss. It causes negative hormonal imbalances. It even causes negative mood changes. And it also slowly damages your organs, your heart, your pancreas and liver and so forth. Our goal is to reduce the chronic inflammation so you can look and feel better and basically help slow down the aging process. I've done a lot of other videos about this topic, you know, inflammation, such as different solutions, specific causes, symptoms, how to fix it naturally, so on and so forth, because this is a really important topic. And I've listed some of the most popular articles and videos below in the description area. So take a look 